Hey guys, today we're going to do a quick tutorial for Randreas who wants us to put in a group inside of another group which is a floating group and make that floater scroll. So basically it's uh, how to apply um, CSS or JavaScript to different bubble elements and go into full customization mode, basically get full control over it. Uh, what you have here is a general tab in your settings and you have expose the option to add an ID attribute to HTML elements which I will check. Boom. What that does is anytime I have, let's say, this floating group, which is what we're, we want, uh, when we scroll all the way down, it'll unlock this little panel right here to add an ID attribute, and that will let us read this element. So we're gonna write this uh, scrollable, or just scroll. And now if I render this, let's go ahead and give it a background style so we can see what we're doing. And if I render this um, and I open up my uh, HTML inspector, you can actually type in scroll, I think we called it. And we have here hashtag scroll, and we have access to it inside of the actual page code right here, and this is the ID itself, okay? So that's the first thing we needed to do. Next, we're gonna need another group, and we said, I don't, I don't remember what the specs were, but we said like 900 inside uh, whatever. Um, shorter group. So the easiest way I would say to build this is to grab this one. I'm going to give it a gradient top to bottom actually so we can see that we're actually scrolling all the way down and we're going to give it some weird colors green all the way through to blue and this is going to stay uh, at a height of let's say 500 and this one is going to be at a height of 100 and then we're going to try to make them scroll. So the first thing we need to do is fit this group inside of this group. Let's go ahead and put the group inside the floating group and then let's close up the floating group, but you'll notice we can't actually close it past this right here. But what we can do is uh, close it up to a height of 100, okay? And then when we render this, uh, I think it's going to automatically expand. I'm not sure, let's find out. Ah, okay, it'll just show it like this. So now this, this the overflow is, um, is actually visible and we have to hide the overflow and we have to make it scrollable instead. So that you could do with some style tags and the easiest way I think to make style tags is this way here. Let's go style and break style. And you could put them in a few different places. You could put them in your header tags, in your main, in your page headers or in your actual headers in your settings, but we're not going to go into that today. We're going to go style and we're going to quickly write this scroll open overflow Y, auto, and important. And I think this should work. Let's close. And this is CSS. You could basically put whatever you want, uh, whatever you know how to do into it, and there's your scrolling group. Okay, simple as that. And that was how to add some, basically, CSS to individual elements inside a bubble. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.